before the cross of our Lord, all of humanity throughout history passes. And our Lord calls out, stop and see if there is a sorrow similar to mine. How many actually stop? How many don't even stop? And those that don't stop, why don't they stop? Because they feel an invitation that our Lord gives them. Follow me. O oh, all ye who pass by the way, stop and see if there was a sorrow similar to mine. Salve Maria. This phrase of Jeremiah's, the church has always applied to our Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross. The cross imagined symbolically as along a road. And at the foot of this cross, all humanity passes by. Passes by with its saints. The saints pass by. The evildoers, the criminals also pass by. The wise men the ignorant, those who are polite and well-educated, and also those who have no education at all, those who love God and those who don't care. All humanity throughout the ages passes by the cross and our Lord in his suffering in Jeremiah's words says O oh, all ye who pass by the way stop and see if there is a sorrow similar to mine now these words also are applied to our Blessed Mother our Blessed Mother her Immaculate Heart is so united with the Sacred Heart of Jesus that St. John Eudes, when he would refer to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, he would say that they were one heart, the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary, our Blessed Mother, she the co-redemptrix, she the mother of sorrow, so united with our Lord, she suffered in her soul all that our Lord suffered in his passion. And these words also could apply to our Blessed Mother, who cries out to each and every one of us, O oh, all ye who pass by the way, stop and see if there is a sorrow similar to mine. Stop to see, to see well, stop, analyze, calmly, pay attention. Don't just go pass, passing by the way, stop and see. Don't flee from one who is alone and suffering, suffering for a grandiose cause. Stop and see if amongst all of you, anyone has a sorrow similar to hers. Now, this also applies to the Holy Catholic Church. Before her passes all history, all humanity passes before the Holy Catholic Church. And before her, pass and those who see her sorrow and just pass by the way they don't even stop throughout history and in our days today how many don't even stop or if they stop they stop 
eating popcorn or drinking Coca-Cola, crack a joke or throw a stone and just go continue their way. How many stop? How many care? And all those who are true Catholics, they suffer to see the church in the situation she is in. As humanity goes abandoning the church and the church feels herself taken up with so many heresies, she cries, she weeps. Oh, while ye who pass by the way stop and see if there is a sorrow similar to mine. Let us be at the church's side. Let us suffer with her. Let us suffer for her. Let us give our souls for her. And let us be those who in her, with her, change things. Who give themselves, who suffer for her. And thus, through the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, obtain from him through his blessed mother, the graces for a re renewal of the church and of all humanity. Are the graces that our blessed mother promised when she said, in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Come back next week, Easter, for once more our Sunday meditation. Salve Maria.